So again, uh, this is Jackson George. I am at uh, the uh, the uh, African supermarket here in Brooklyn Park. This is Hido's um, uh, uh, store. You can see that uh, the African community has a, 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 a variety of grocery stores, a variety of warehouses, and this is one of the African uh, immigrant business. If you look here, there are a variety of products from here to, you know, how you call it, uh, uh, we have rice, we have all of these different business, all of these different products into this one facility. And so if you're an African and you're here, uh, you want to look at these different uh, businesses. This is one of uh, uh, a member of LIBA, uh, a member of the Librarian Business Association in the diaspora. We got all of these products. All of these products is about a $1.2 billion industry. $1.2 billion industry. So if you're in Africa and you're wondering how can you get your product into these stores, we have a, a Liberian distributor, uh, an African distributor that distributes to African grocery stores and to the mainstream grocery stores. You can contact that distributor and distribute your food product. So if you look here, they got beans, they got all of these products. And the last time we're at the Waterside Market, today we are at the African Supermarket, the Tropical Food Store. So again, if you're here and you want to shop, this is a location also. If you're in this area, this is a location that you can come and shop uh, and buy some African food, culturally sensitive food from the continent. So if you want to venture into business and figure out how can you get your supplies to this, contact the Librarian Business Association. How can you get your product into these, into these stores? It is important that we trade. And so we are looking at the different possibility, red oil. Don't tell me we don't have red oil in Liberia. Some of the oils are coming from Togo, Nigeria, and Ghana. We need to get Liberian red oil in the market as well. A $1.2 billion industry that Liberia is not participating. So our goal here from the Labrador Business Association is to network and find out how we can get these businesses or product from Liberia. Remember, it creates more jobs, it creates more, more uh, opportunities for Liberia in Liberia. And so these are the, the things that uh, we, are, we are looking at and trying to make work. So if you are here, please shop here. If you can move the camera this way uh, so they can see the vastness of this shop. And this is owned by a Tokoli a member of the Labyrinth Business Association. So it's not about uh, 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 who, it's an African immigrant business. And we all need to support our African immigrant business. And like I said, we're just at the Waterside Market, the, uh, uh, owned and operated by a Liberian. This is owned and operated by Togo Lee. And BCS uh, Wholesale Food on Brooklyn Boulevard is also owned by a Nigerian. So, I mean, this is a community effort. So the African immigrant community in Minnesota alone, and if you want to, they ship all over the country as well. So if you want to uh, purchase food, please use one of our facilities. Forget about the Dragon Star and the, and the Asian markets and other stuff. Our Africans can make it work. That's the idea. We must support the African business because at some point, that money funded back to the continent. That money funded back to the continent and help our continent develop. If you supported the Asian market, it's going to Asia. It's going to somewhere in, on, a, on the Asian continent. Support our African communities so that their money can be taken back to the continent. So this is a totally grand business, uh, heavily owned and operated by African. This is all African. So if you think that African can do it, we can. I say yes, we can. Thank you. This is Aliba TV. I'm Jackson George. I'm the executive director of Aliba Diaspora. Thank you. And God bless.